Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kausal Vice and this is the continuation video of depreciation accounting. Please see the description box to get the playlist link for the entire collection. Now in this video we are going to see methods of recording depreciation. In the previous video we have seen when provision for depreciation account is not maintained. In this video we are going to see when provision for depreciation account is maintained. Okay, now let's see the problem. See the problem. See. This is the continuation video, okay. In the previous video, we have seen how to prepare machinery account and machinery disposal account when provision for depreciation account is not maintained. You can find the link in the description box. In this video, we are going to see machinery account, machinery disposal account and one more thing when provision for depreciation account is maintained, okay. Now, let us see the first one that is a machinery account. So, according to this method, we will have a three different accounts. Machinery account, provision for depreciation account and machinery disposal account separately. So, in the machinery account, you have to record only the original value of asset at the time of purchase as well as you have to record the sales transaction based on the original value. Okay, in the depreciation account, we can record all the depreciation calculation. In the machinery disposal account, we can find out the profit on sale or loss on sale okay so in the machinery again i repeat in the machinery account only the original value of asset will be entered at the time of purchase as well as at the time of disposal okay so this is the account where we can show depreciation calculation and in this account we'll find out profit or loss on disposal now let's see the first one machinery account for that see the problem abc company limited purchased on 1st January 2015, a machine for 1,20,000. In the same year, on 1st July 2015, it purchased another machinery costing 60,000. Okay. On 1st July 2016, in the next year, the machine purchased on first mission, that is on 1st January 2015, having become obsolete, was sold off for 45,000. On 1st July 2017, in the third year, a new machine was purchased for 1,30,000. And the machine purchased on 1st July 2015, that is second machinery, was sold at 48,000 on the same day. Same day means on 1st July 2017. Depreciation is to be provided at 10% per annum under WDV method every year. Assuming that the accounts are closed, on 31st December every year. You are required to prepare machinery account, provision for depreciation account and machinery disposal account. Now let's see the solution for machinery account. See the solution. The first one is machinery account. Okay. When the provision for depreciation account is maintained, this is the way to prepare machinery account. Okay. So in the first year, we have purchased two machineries. Number one, on 1st January 2015, and second machinery purchased on 1st July 2015. Two bank, two bank. First one 1,20,000. Second machinery cost 60,000. Total 1,80,000. So at the end of the year, buy balance carried on 1,80. And this will be the opening balance for the next year. On 1,1,2016, 1, 1,80,000. In the second year, we have sold the first machinery. 1,20,000 value of machinery sold on 1st July 2016. No, that value will be transferred to disposal account, machinery disposal account, 1,20,000. As I said earlier, we have to record only the purchased value, original value of machinery. Okay. And then the balancing figure is 60,000 and this will be the opening balance for the next year. Again, in the third year, we have purchased another machinery for 1,30,000 on 1st July 2017. On the same day, we have sold second machinery. So, what is the value of the second machinery? 60,000. No. So, transfer this amount to machinery disposal account. By machinery disposal account, 60,000. That's all. What is the balancing figure? 130,000. And this will be the opening balance for next year. That's all. So, this is the way to prepare machinery account when provision for depreciation account is maintained. Now, let's see the second one. That is provision for depreciation account. See the provision for depreciation account. In the machinery account, we have entered only 
the purchase value we didn't calculate any depreciation okay but here we need to charge depreciation for the first year so first year we have purchased two machinery the first one on 1st january 2015 one lakh 20000 no for that you have to calculate depreciation in the provision for depreciation account by depreciation 1 lakh 20 into 10 percentage 12000 okay for the second machinery 60000 no but this machinery purchased on 1st july from 1st july to till december 31st december 6 months only no so 60000 into 10 percentage into 6 by 12 3000 that's all so total depreciation for the first year 15000 enter the same value here and this will be the closing balance and this closing balance will be the opening balance for next year okay now in the next year see the machinery account look at the machinery account second year on 1st july 2016 we have transferred the first machine to machinery disposal account no this is the date of sale okay so till such time we need to calculate depreciation so at the end of the second year again we need to calculate depreciation no so 31st december 2016 by depreciation so first machinery sold on 1st july for that we need to calculate depreciation for only six months in the second year what is the value of the asset one lakh twenty thousand minus first year depreciation twelve thousand so 120 minus 12,000, 1 lakh 8,000. This is the WDV value. That is written down value. Into 10 percentage for 6 months. 5,400. For the second machinery, see the machinery account. Second machinery value 60,000. No. So first year we have calculated depreciation 3,000. So 60 minus 3, 57,000. So this year you have to charge for the full year 57,000 into 10 percentage 5,700. So total depreciation how much? So total depreciation 11,100. Okay. In the second year we have sold first machinery. Okay. So first machinery sold on 1st July 2016. No. So debit side 1-7-2016. Transfer the total depreciation for the first machinery to machinery disposal account. So, entry provision for depreciation account debit to machinery disposal account. So, how much we have charged depreciation for the first machinery? First year 12,000, second year 6 months 5,400. So, total 12,000 plus 5,400. Total 17,400 transferred to machinery disposal account for the first machinery. Okay, that's all. Now you can get the total. Total 26,100. Enter the same value. And here we are getting balancing figure. How much? 8,700 at the end of the year. To balance carry down. And this will be the opening balance for the next year. 1 1 2017 by balance brought down 8700 okay now again in the third year on 31st december 2017 we need to calculate depreciation by depreciation but in this year again we have sold second machinery on see the machinery account on 1st july 2017 Machinery disposed. This is for the second machinery now. So till 1st July we need to calculate depreciation. Okay. So this year depreciation is calculated for the second machinery for 6 months only. See the previous calculation. 57,000 minus 5,700. What is the WDV? 51,300. That is written down value of the asset. 51,300 into 10 percentage into 6 by 12. 2,565. Again, in the third year, we have purchased another machinery, third machinery on the same date. How much? 1,30,000. For that also, we need to calculate depreciation at the end of the year. Six months only. From 1st July to 31st December. 1,30,000 into 10 percentage into 6 by 12, 6,500. So, total depreciation, 9,065. Okay. Now, we need to transfer... Total depreciation so far we have charged for the second machinery to machinery disposal account on the date of sale of asset. 
okay on 1 7 2017 to machinery disposal account how much see the first year calculation second machinery depreciation 3000 second year 5700 and third year 2565 so total 3000 plus 5700 plus 2565 so total 11265 that's all now you will be getting the balancing figure get the total total 17765 17,765, balancing figure 6,500. Okay, on 31st December 2017, to balance, carry down, and this will be the opening balance for next year. 1 1 2018, by balance, brought down 6,500. Okay, so this is the way to prepare provision for depreciation account. Okay. So, first year we have charged depreciation, okay, for the first two machinery. Second year we have charged depreciation for the two machinery. And total depreciation so far we have charged for the first machinery totally transferred to machinery disposal account on the date of sale. Again, in the third year we have calculated depreciation for the rest of the machines. Again, the total depreciation so far we have charged for the second machinery. That amount is transferred to machinery disposal account on the date of disposal of second asset okay now let's see the machinery disposal account in the second year we have disposed first machinery okay see the machinery account in the second year the first machinery transferred to machinery disposal account on 1st july 2016 okay machinery disposal account debit to machinery account okay see the disposal account machinery disposal account debit to machinery account 120000 okay and in the provision for depreciation account on the same day we have transferred total depreciation to disposal account no just refer that account see the provision for depreciation account in the second year total depreciation 17400 transferred to disposal account okay on 1st july so on 1st july 16 by provision for depreciation 17400 this is the original value 120000 this is the total depreciation now we need to enter actual sale value okay by bank 45000 this is given in the problem refer the problem see the problem the first machinery sold off for 45000 okay 45000 what is the balancing figure 57600 this will be transferred to profit and loss account here we have incurred loss on sale of asset in the same way we need to record the transaction for the second machinery see the machinery account look at the machinery account on the date of sale of the machinery the original value of the machinery transferred to machinery disposal account okay 60000 in the debit side we have entered machinery account 60000 on the date of disposal okay now we need to record provision for depreciation refer this account see the provision for depreciation account so total depreciation charge so far how much 11265 this amount we have transferred to machinery disposal account on the date of disposal okay so this we have entered in the disposal account machinery disposal account on the date of disposal total depreciation by provision for depreciation 11265 okay now we need to enter actual sale value how much 48000 this is given in the problem. Refer the problem. See the problem. Second machinery sold for 48,000. Okay. By bank 48,000. Machinery disposal account on the date of sale by bank 48,000. That's all. Now you will be getting balancing figure either debit or credit side. If we get any balancing figure in the debit side then it is called profit on sale of asset. If we get credit side, then it is called loss. Whatever it is, that will be transferred to profit and loss account. Here we have got loss, 735 loss, transferred to profit and loss account at the end of the year. This is the way to prepare machinery disposal account when provision for depreciation account is maintained. Please check the description box to get the link for the entire collection. 
hope you like this video please hit the like comment subscribe and share with your friends thank you